Um, I think just his preparation and, you know, how much he cares about his craft. Uh, you see him out here every day. Um, you know, he doesn't have to be out here at practice, but he, I mean, he, he still enjoys it. He still, you know, approaches the game as if it's, you know, he's trying to earn something, you know, with all the accolades that he already has. Um, you know, none of that means anything if he's not still producing. This is a production league, and, I mean, you, you see just the product of, you know, all the hard work that he puts in in the offseason and, and here at practice. So why is he in a few fights for camp? <laughs> I guess so. I guess that's 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 the part of his process of preparing for game day. Is that as good as you've seen him play? It is. I mean, ever since I've been here, even before I got here, I knew, you know, I, I see his films. Just a big fan of, you know, how he plays. But the same thing he does on Sundays is the same thing he does out here on the field. And um, it's, it's the kind of leader that you want. And, um, you know, you want to go out there and not let him down with, with how you play. But was Buffalo exceptional or did we just notice it more in terms of how well? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe you guys just notice it more because we see him dominate. You know, here at practice, I, I haven't seen anybody we face stop his, his bull rush. I think that's 100%. So I guess it's just you guys noticing it more. What's it say about your group as a whole that you don't have Stephon, that you right. keep rotating these guys in, kept everybody fresh, and still was able to do what you did? Yeah, that's, the, that's what it is. I think you got to trust um, in the younger guys that come in and, you know, not have that drop off and, and play well. And I think just giving them some experience here with, with uh, to it out um, definitely helps our group as a whole, just um, knowing we can rely on other people other than, you know, whether it's Cam or, or to it. All right, guys, two more. Are you okay with playing more snaps? Yeah, I mean, I feel great. Um, I think my, you know, my snap count um, last year was in that range from like 30 to 40. And it was like right at the top. But, you know, I felt great coming out of that game. and. Um, hopefully we can continue to build on it and you know, trust everybody as a, as a unit, uh, as a D-line, just knowing you know, when, when we need a breather, they, they'll go in and uh, get the job done. You guys know the saying around here, the standard doesn't change for anybody, so um, we're just out here just, just trying to get better. Do you have an expectation of when you expect maybe Stephon will be ready to come back? Uh, I don't know. I know he's, you know, I see him in there every day working and uh, doing his rehab, but um, I know it'll be soon, and I know he'll come back ready and you know ready to prove, you know, and do the same thing he was doing last year, and then and I think he'll even do better. Alex, you guys use that three-man rotation outside linebacker. What about that? It just makes this defense so effective for the three of you guys. You know, I think it makes it makes makes it effective because you know we're all fresh and we're all you know coming in, you know, providing quality quality rushes. Um, you know, just like TJ said, you know, the other day, I really feel like, you know, this trio is going to be special. Um, you know, the fact that all three of us, you know, can come in and produce, you know, like we do, you know, it's going to be special. So um, it's awesome to be able to work with Melvin and TJ. You know, I've learned so much from both of them already. You know, I just decided to just continue to learn from them, you know, because those are just better and established guys. And so, you know, the more and more I can learn from them, the better. And so I'm just excited, for, you know, for what the year has in store for us. Right now, TJ and uh, Ingram rush from stand-up positions on the inside. How much do you think that surprised or impacted Buffalo? And how did it look in terms of its effect? Yeah, I think, we, you know, through different looks at them, you know, that's what we were trying to do, you know. Ultimately, you know, um, just trying to go out there, you know, just went with the four-man rush, you know, is what we did. And you know, I think just throwing different looks at them just really helped, you know, try to confuse um, confuse offense. You know, I think, you know, that um, confused them a little bit, and that helped us to be able to get more pressure on quarterback. It seems like nobody needed a ramp up between you guys. So what was the trying to, you know, I think that's just, you know, us pushing each other, you know, all three of us, you know, on just the defense as, as a whole, you know, we all push each other just to be the best that we can be. And I feel like, you know, everyone came into this camp prepared, um, you know, um, just to be the best defense that we can be this year. I think we put that on display, um, you know, in week one. And so as long as you, you know, can keep that consistently, you know, throughout the whole year, you know, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. How much does it help that you were a part of that three-man rotation a year ago with Bud? Does it feel like it's the same type of thing? Oh, yeah. You know, both like last year, like I said, you know, coming in my rookie year, you know, it was, it was awesome to be able to have, you know, guys like Bud and TJ, guys who are established to be in here and be able to learn from. And so bringing in a guy like Melvin, you know, a pro bowler, you know, a guy who knows what he's doing, a guy who, um, you know, is, is vested into this stuff, you know, it's, it's awesome to be able to learn from him as well. And so, like I said, I'm just excited, you know, to be able to work with both of those guys. What's it been like with maybe they're asking more of you this year now that they know that, like, hey, you're not just a rookie. Figuring this out, we need you to be right in the mix with TJ. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, um, I feel like I'll, I'll be able to step to the challenge, you know, because I feel like I've matured a lot this year, you know, mentally and physically, you know, I've gained some weight, you know, I feel like I got stronger and faster this all season. And so, um, you know, I just got to continue to get 1% better every day. You know, that's something that I preach to myself and I try to tell, you know, other people as well, you know, just get better and better every day. And um, I know the more and more snaps I get, you know, just like last year, uh, the soul of the game will get for me. So I'm just excited to just uh, continue progressing throughout this year. Oh, it's it's so important. You know, that's that's the best. That's the funnest drill we do all day. You know, Coach T is always over there. Uh, you know, just sparking up that competition between us. And so, you know, I'm glad that we do do that all day because that's really where it starts. You know, if you don't have a good get off, you know, you're not gonna really really get to the where you want and be able to challenge the offensive linemen. So I think that's something, you know, at least for me, that was one of my uh, focuses this offseason was really just working on my get off and get faster than that. You know, I think so far uh, this season throughout the preseason and uh, last week, you know, I feel like, you know, I've showed improvement on that and I just look forward to just continuing to do that. What is the key? I mean, is it just anticipation? I mean, uh, ball, ball key, you know, first movement. But for me, you know, it really comes, you know, just like studying snap count and stuff like that. And that's what really helped me. Um, you know, so far this year, just really knowing the snap count and studying on film, um, you know, studying the live copies, you know, so that I'm able to, um, you know, learn the snap count and get off the ball well. We have time for during, one more. Like I said during the press conference, you know, don't be surprised if you see all three of those guys on the field at the same time. Um, is that all three of you knowing three different positions, or like do those guys go different places and you stay anchored where you normally? Uh, that'd be special. You know, I, th I think you know. You know, no matter where we are, you know, if, if, if a package does come like that, you know, I know it's going to be it's going to be special, you know, because remember we did that last year with uh, me, TJ and Bud um, a couple games. And so, you know, if we do end up in impl implementing that, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. So I look, I look forward to that. Thank you.